very simple way of looking at evolution is in terms of symmetry. Uh, we're moving from mineral or molecular up to man. We can look in at the vi visual arrangement of a, of a crystal, for instance. The molecules are in rows, they're in layers, and they're in columns. In other words, the three-dimensional symmetri symmetry. Whichever way you go, it's this repetition. Now, in plants, one axis becomes asymmetrical. The tree, the roots and the top are different, but the right and left are the same and the front and back are the same. Right. Same with the flower. The, the petals go out symmetrically in all directions, but the axis, vertical axis of the flower is different. And when you shift to animals, right and left are the same, uh, but front and back, head and tail are different, and back and stomach are different. Top and, top and bottom. Top and bottom. Right. Dorsal and ventral, it must be <laughs> technical. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and that means that the animal only has one axis of symmetry, uh, with two non-symmetric or asymmetric. Now, whether man has total asymmetry you have to look at those pictures that show the left-hand side of the face repeated on both sides to see how non-symmetrical a face is. I don't know whether my face is non-symmetrical or not. Uh, it depends on... Uh, well, give me a piece of paper. Uh, is that side the same as that side, you see. It no, has to have has a photograph on it. that showed them <laughs> both at once. <laughs> right. But now they've discovered that right brain and left brain, which is another important asymmetry in man. And this is, this is unique to man? Uh, as far as I know. I haven't heard any complaints from the rat people about other rats not using their right brain or left brain. 